Hello, this is Vasily from Atom Tuition. So in today's lesson, we are going to learn the addition formula in trigonometric functions. So the first one is cos x plus y. Cos x plus y is equal to cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. Okay? And cos x minus y would be, it is the same and only thing is the sign differs. Okay? So here it is again cos x cos y. This time it is plus sin x sin y. Just notice that when the cos is x plus y, here you have a negative sign. And when it is negative here, this is positive. And you can see that cos come together and sin come together in this cos formula. Okay. Now next is sin formula where you have sin x plus y equals sin x cos y plus cos x sin y. You, you would have noticed that here sin and cos are mixed and when, they, when it is positive here, here also it is positive. So you can say what is sin x minus y? It is sin x cos y minus cos x sin y. Okay. So this you can easily memorize. Just remember that for cos formula, causes come together and sines come together and the sign differs. And for sine formula, it is both mixed together and the sign would be the same. Okay. And you have but tan x plus y which is equal to tan x plus tan y divided by 1 minus tan x tan y. Okay. So when it is tan x minus y, it is the same formula in, except for the sign. The sign changes, okay? So here it is tan x minus tan y over 1 plus tan x tan y. And the cot x plus y, you know cot is the reciprocal of tan. So here it would be, again this is also the reciprocal, right? So it is going to be cot x plus y is equal to cot x cot y minus 1 over cot x plus cot y and cot x minus y is equal to cot x cot y plus 1 over cot y minus cot x. Okay. So these are the addition formula you have and let us see how these are used in the problems. Okay. So here I have taken few problems to explain. First is find the value of sine 75. We know the special uh, the angles like uh, 0 degrees, 30 degree, 45 degrees, 60 degree, 90 degree and so on. But we don't know exactly what is 75 degree, right? You can write this as sine 75 as sine 45 plus 30 right because I just write 45 plus 30 because we know the values of 45 degree and 30 degree so for my convenience sake I have changed it to 45 plus 30 use the formula sin a plus b formula so this is going to be sin a sin a is 45 here right sin a cos b cos 30 here it is mixed and since it is plus, I have put plus in between. So this is sin 30 cos 45. Okay. So you know what is sin 45. Sin 45 is 1 over root 2. Right. And what is cos 30? Cos 30 is root 3 by 2. Plus sin 30 is half times cos 45 is 1 by root 2 right sin cos 45 and cos 45 are always same so this will be equal to root 3 over 2 root 3 plus 1 over 2 root 3 okay so you can add these together oh this is root 2 okay not root 3 by mistake i have written root 3 okay now since the base are same you can directly add them and say root 3 plus 1 over 2 root 3 root 2 is the answer okay 
So this would be the answer for sin 75. If you want you can explicitly write sin 75 degree is equal to cube root of 1 plus I mean plus 1 over 2 root 2. Okay. So that's, that's the answer for this. Now let us look at the second problem. You are to prove that all these on your left is equal to 10. Okay. So let us do the, we know these special values. So I'm just directly going to apply those. So this is nothing but 2 sin square 3 pi over 4. I write all that here. 3 pi over 4 is 135 degrees. We don't know the value for this, right? So what I did is I can't directly apply the value. So I just write this as sin 3 pi by 4, I can write it as pi minus pi over 4, right? That is nothing but 3 pi by 4. And the square, I can put it out, okay? Whole square plus your pi by 4 is, pi by 4 is 45 degrees, okay? So you can use that. You have the value for it. So I can directly, I'm going to use it. So that's going to be 2 times cos 45 is 1 over root 2 whole square plus you have 2 secant square pi over 3 pi over 3 is 60 degree okay so what is secant 60 it is 2 okay you should remember all that it is 2 so that would be 2 times 2 square I have just taken the LHS here okay I have just started with the left hand side. Now what happens? This I can write it as 2. See this is this one I take it as x okay. So what is sin pi minus x? Sin pi minus x is nothing but sin x. So I can write it as sin here in the place of x it is pi by 4 okay. Square you have a square here. Plus here it is 2 times. When you square the 1 it is 1. When you square the root 2 it becomes 2. Plus it is 2 times 4. Okay. So this is nothing but this implies. It is 2 times. What is uh, sine 45? Sine 45 is 1 over root 2. Right. So that's 1 over root 2 square. Plus this 2 and 2 would get cancelled. So that's 1 plus 8. Okay. Now here again when you square you get 2 times 1 over 2. So the 2 and 2 will get cancelled. Plus 1 plus 8 is 9. 2 and 2 will get cancelled and you get 10 which is equal to your RHS. So you have proved. Okay. So you say therefore your left hand side LHS sorry is equal to RHS okay so you have proved this let us move on to the third sum show that tan 3x okay yeah this is tan 3x tan 2x times tan x is equal to tan 3x minus okay what I do here is I just take tan 3x as let tan 3x be tan 2x plus x okay so this is like a tan a plus b so i'm just taking okay i write that here so i write tan a 3x as it is tan a plus b right so that is tan a a is 2x here plus tan x okay that is tan b is tan x over 1 minus tan 2x tan x right I've just applied the formula here now what I do is I'm going to cross multiply this it is tan x tan 3x times tan x times 1 minus tan 2x tan x equals the, on the right side you just have because the denominator has gone to the opposite side you will have 
tan 2x plus tan x okay I can multiply I can bring the tan x I can distribute the tan x right tan times this and I'm going to multiply tan times this so that will be tan 3x minus tan 3x tan 2x okay I'm just multiplying bringing it inside tan x this side you have tan 2x plus tan x also right now what happens we can take the mm, tan these these to the other side and the other on those on the right you can take it to the left so you would get therefore you would get tan 3x minus tan 2x minus tan x is equal to tan 3x okay so your LHS is RHS and you have proved it okay you have proved this next is this type of problem you know cos 180 plus x 180 plus x would be in the third quadrant right so in the third quadrant only tan and cot are positive so the rest are negative so I take the cos as negative and cos pi by x is cos x okay so I just write it as cos x then you have cos minus x cos minus x is in the fourth quadrant in the fourth quadrant cos and secant are positive since it is cos you can take it as positive and cos minus x is cos x only so this is going to be cos x whole thing divided by sine pi minus x so pi minus x is in the second quadrant in the second quadrant your sine will be sine only and sine is positive so this would be like sine x right positive sine x and here it is pi by 2 plus x so that's in the third quadrant pi by 2 plus x in the third quadrant so in the third quadrant tan and cot is positive so cos is negative okay this is times here negative now we can just write this as minus cos square x divided by multiply the sine and sine so that's minus sine square so this is also square x so your minus and minus will get cancelled and that becomes a cot square x okay and the last problem here is tan pi by 4 plus x over tan pi by 4 minus x equals 1 plus tan x over 1 minus tan x the whole square right so let us do one by one i am going to take the lhs first i am going to take the left hand side first and i am going to arrive at the rhs a plus b form right a plus b form so i can write it as tan a a is pi over 4 plus tan x so that's a plus b right so tan x over 1 minus okay this is pi by 4 tan x so we all know tan pi by 4 is 1 so this will be 1 plus tan x because tan 45 is 1 right over 1 minus this is again tan 45 is 1 tan x x over tan x right okay this is the numerator now the denominator let us complete the denominator so in the denominator it is tan a minus b so that would be tan pi by 4 take away tan x whole divided by 1 plus tan tan pi over 4 tan x okay this is 1 sorry this is 1 because tan pi by 4 is 1 right so this is 1 you just have tan, tan x there so here again it is 1 minus so tan pi by 4 is 1 so you will have tan x alone oh, divided by plus 
tan 45 is 1 so that's tan x okay now what do you, what you can do is you can put this in the right form so that's 1 plus tan x 1 minus tan x right this division I'll just make it multiplication and then flip okay so that would be 1 plus tan x again over 1 minus tan x now you can just multiply these two and you can say that the numerator is 1 plus tan over 1 minus tan x raised to 4 and hence it is whole square. So I have proved the left hand side to the right hand side also. Okay. So just apply these formula wherever necessary and derive at the prop formula. I have done the most important ones and uh, meet you soon with other video. Till then bye from Basri.